Most of the long distance pioneers have gone, but they opened a new age in powered flight. It was a race now for the long haul commerce of the sky. Among the early entrants was Germany, a huge Doe X crowding on sale with its 12 engines on one occasion lifting 170 people. Totally different was Britain's approach to regular long distance flight. All along she had been interested in the flying boat. There was Mitchell's Supermarine Southampton and Gouge's Short Singapore and his civilian Calcutta. Along these lines seemed to lie the answer to the serving of a maritime commonwealth, to flying between countries separated by oceans, whose maps were dotted with harbors, lakes and rivers. So evolved Canopus and the short C-class Empire flying boat. Many passengers still believe they were the most comfortable aircraft ever built. And many still look back nostalgically to that moment of anticipation before takeoff, when you looked ahead to a leisured flight, to the night stops at Luxor, to the mosquitoes at Lumbo, to the site of Lake Victoria or Karangi Creek beneath the wingtip float. Under the all-up Empire airmail scheme these boats made possible, one could send a letter to any country of British association for a penny halfpenny. They pioneered the North Atlantic route too. Caledonia over New York in 1938, just a little bigger in size than the Mayflower.